to catch the cheat day number 60, a special one, a special one. I've drank a lot of milk today, just to let you guys know, in case you guys are worrying. Um, fantastic, fantastic food from Chili's. It's 8.37. And of course, I got some new Lucky Charms honey clover. I'm gonna eat it later, I haven't put it in the milk yet. This one is, let's start out with the ice cream and melted. As always, it didn't work out. I had to go back and get the fries. I like, they forgot to give it to me. So this one is called a paradise pie. I think it has a like coconut and stuff like that. And those one is called the honey chipotle crispers and waffles. Let's get started with that part. I'm totally excited about everything. It smells amazing. Ice cream and cake. Man, 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 that sounds really good. So it's chocolate chip, walnut, and coconut layered bar, topped with vanilla ice cream, walnut, and treasure with hot fudge and caramel. And it's amazing tasting. Amazing. Oh, wow. The only thing that would make it taste a little bit better is if I would have been smart enough to microwave the bar a little bit so it's gonna be warm. That was an amazing start. Now those waffle and crispers. The sauce is amazing too. Nice sweetness to it. That stuff hits the spot right now. Great. Waffles a little bit on the trier side, but what do you expect? I was, I was supposed to pick it up at 8 or 5 or 8. Didn't get it till like, what time is it now? 8.20. When we drove back home, halfway, I'm like, oh, the fries are missing. Turn around, get the stuff. So, but it's really a delicious meal. I have to admit that. It's great. Another one in the books for, for chilies, I like it. Of course, the only good thing is the fries are still warm with a lovely curry ketchup that I love. But I've noticed cheat days will take longer to get food because people are going crazy, like all the dry foods are filled up all the way. I don't know. So now it's milk time and cereal time. Sorry, I don't know why I said milk time, but the first part of the milk, I just had to write down how much I put in there. New cereal from Lucky Charms, the honey cloves. I went to Walmart for the first time after, like, I don't know, since January? No idea. I've got a lot of limited edition items, like chocolate wise, because Walmart is the place to go. So, uh, I saw these cereal, I got excited. I'm trying to figure out how to rate them. Because to get different flavors. Sometimes I get a little bit more honey, sometimes a little bit less, but I think it might be the marshmallow the sweetness in there, so I wait till the end to rate them. Done, done, done. Let's see the time. Is you guys can see it, nine or three. We thought. How I rate it here? I finally decided to give it an eight out of ten. Reason why? I don't know. Not not a lot of like the honey flavor at the beginning. I got a little bit of the thing that didn't. I got sweetness from the marshmallows, which was always good, and I like the cereal in total, but. I wanted to see more to honey, but so at the end, when all the lovely cereal milk at the, uh, the bottom was, and there you got all the honey flavor then. So that kind of like, I was between seven and a half and eight and a half, but I really like it. Wish it was more honey, but as you guys should know by now, I love like, 
uh, sauces and everything like that. And if, if something it says it on there, it's supposed to taste like something I expected to taste like it, not like just a little hint of it. It's just my personal thing. So I like them. Fantastic start. I really love those waffle things like with the sauce. The sauce I think topped it on top of it, and then a lovely. I forgot what the bar was called already. Paradise thing, I think. Anyway, so you have to cut out, guys. Have to try that. Let's see the damage. I'm going to be back with breakfast. And I'm actually back earlier than expected. It's 9:34, and after that lovely dinner, I'm actually still hungry. So I'm like, just have a little bit more of a snack. I don't know why. So this one I found. It's a Milky Way salted caramel bar. Sounds interesting. Gotta try it. The Milky Way salted caramel is a little bit of a fail because I don't know, it tastes like regular Milky Way. I didn't taste a difference. I don't understand. Here we go, we got a dime bar. I don't think I ever had it. I want to try it, I saw it. Yeah. Nine thirty-eight. I've got to count it as one meal with earlier. Hopefully, I'm going to be done now. I'm still feeling hungry. I don't know what's going on. This one, I actually like it. It's like, as I said, it's um, I didn't say sorry. It's a crunchy almond caramel center. So I got more caramel stuff. Like the only problem is that stick, it sticks to your teeth out. All the stuff. But other than that, taste-wise, it's fairly good. Like it. Hopefully, I'm going to be back for breakfast. For me, it's morning, so I almost said good morning, but breakfast time for you guys. It is 7.22. Totally excited. As I told you guys, I have to drink up this whole milk because I don't throw anything away. I decided to go with Wendy's breakfast. I didn't go with a Baconator breakfast thing because it has a sausage patty in there. I'm not the biggest fan of sausage. I'm getting used to it, but Supposed to have a strong like sausage flavor, so I'm like, yeah, the cheat day was fairly good so far. So I didn't get that. So I got the seasoned fries, which are supposed to be amazing. Then I got the biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese, and then a maple bacon chicken croissant, which is this thing, which look kind of looks like this. So and oh, chocolate. Uh, Frappuccino, I think they call it. It's cold, co uh, I don't know if it's called prude, but it's ice or iced coffee, one of the two, with chocolate syrup. It's supposed to be amazing as well. So let's get started. Oh, and some donuts I'm gonna get into in a second. Oh. Hmm. It's good, it's sweet. You get, you get the coffee taste, and you get the sweetness in there. I like it. It's good. I don't get a lot of the chocolate flavor. I thought it would be more chocolatey, but it's a good flavor, good combination. I'm deciding which one. I'm gonna do the cross. Oh, actually, let's do the potato first because it's still warm. Me, as a potato lover, or fries lover and everything, I like them. <clears throat> I'm really good at something different. Different flavor. I got that put like pepper and salt on them, but I'm trying to think about it. Um, there's actually like, like frozen, I think they're called seasoned, I don't know if they're steak potatoes, but seasoned potatoes, some kind, I had years ago, the taste is exactly the same. So bad, they're good, really good. Uh, something different, not just a fried taste or anything like that, or hash brown. But I like it. So far, so good. By the way, large fries and large drink. Mm, let's do the chicken, maple, bacon, croissant thing. Square. Taste wise, it reminds me of the, a little bit of the um, McDonald's McMuffin stuff because you get the syrup, the maple syrup taste. So you get a hint of maple flavor, some bacon and some chicken in it, which is good. And the croissant is like, and, mm, I mean, wouldn't really consider a croissant. It's not as fluffy as would consider more of like a bun or something like that. 
But I, the only issue I have right now with this one I have, it's a little dry. So I don't know if there's supposed to be more sauce on it. I would have appreciated more of the syrup flavor as well as the maple syrup, uh, maple flavor. But it's a little, it's slightly dry, but it's a personal issue I always have. Like I have, have to have stuff a little bit more juicy. So now the biscuit. I was uh, deciding between the egg, bacon and cheese biscuit or the honey butter chicken one, but I'm like, oh, I have chicken. I had chicken last night. Let's try a different one. I want to try the biscuit. So, coffee done, biscuit done. I'm ready for the biscuit. Mm. I would rate it to the okay side, slightly towards the good side. The reason why there was no seasoning on the egg. So the egg was plain, no salt, no pepper on it. The bacon had hardly any flavor, the cheese had any hardly any flavor. And it reminded me of a worse version of what I uh, used to do at home. I used to buy like old um, the English uh, muffins you can buy from Thomasville, whatever it is at the grocery store, there's the English English muffins. They put like a slice of cheese on it and put your own egg on it. And I prefer my eggs anyway, sunny side up, so which means the uh, yellow part is runny. So of course it's a little bit biased towards stuff. This one was like well done to put it on the thing without flavor. So it's not as good as if I do it myself, but it's definitely really edible. It's good, okay. I guess if you're on the run, you can definitely have that one, but I don't know. I had it high hopes. Like it was, everything lacked a little bit The bacon was not as flavorful. The cheese had only like the slight thing of uh, flavor and the egg was a little bit there, but it was missing totally seasoning. If that would have leave that, put some like uh, honey or something like on top of that, or some maple on top of that, I would make it like way better. So let's start out with those things. Yeah, I forgot what they call them. I, I assume they were long chons, but they are ice fluffed filled bars. So there might be some fl uh, marshmallow fluff in there, I don't know. From Walmart. As you can see, some white cream, hardly any cream. Mmm, now I've got some more. Rating wise, a little biased about those things. Actually, good. Actually, like the icing is more feels like the icing you have on top of it inside the cream, but they didn't make it fairly well. But yesterday, so they stayed here overnight, and now we got like stale, like they're kind of hard on the tr on the outside. So, but actually, fairly good and, and cheap at Walmart. So, if you ever in there, go try them. They're actually good. They have a lot of icing fell in there. At least a couple of them. <clears throat> Seven forty-two. Those six donut or bars or. Long chunks, however you want to call them, were great to a little stale. My fault, my fault. Normally, like donuts last overnight, but those didn't. Um, great breakfast, a little disappointed of the Wendy's breakfast, but with my location, it's a little bit iffy sometimes. As you guys remember, with some other ones, I already got stale burger breads, buns, and everything like that. I don't know, it's probably because of the situation going on right now here. In the US or not, but that was always issues even before that with that location. So, anyways, um, let's see what I'm gonna have for lunch. Sorry for the complaining, but regardless of that, it was fairly good, uh, fairly, fairly, uh, fairly good breakfast. Could have been worse, <laughs> as I always say. No, no, but, but, but it was still good. But I'd like, I think it was more hyped up. It was the same with the. Uh, Popeye's chicken, well, I, th I thought it was a little bit hyped up, for my taste at least, as well. So let's see the damage. Ah, lunchtime, lunchtime, lunchtime. Ah, 
coupon. Today is National Ice Cream Day, by the way, so there was a coupon for that. It's 2.49. I kind of have to hurry up eating it because it's uh, melting. This one is um, some Cold Stone, the one is called, I forgot what it's called, but it's banana, caramel, um, and pe pecans, <clears throat> ice cream. And it's a gotta, gotta have it size, the biggest one. Mm. Not the biggest one, but. Came in there, of course I got the waffles in there too. Mmm. If you guys don't know, cold stone, then mix it up right in front of you. Put in like real banana, everything. That's great. Uh, mm. If you're ice cream lover, we are gonna love a cold stone. Mm. What's amazing is you used to be a fa favorite. I haven't had it for years, cold stone, but banana caramel. Crunch, it's amazing. Mmm, good, good. Those are normally expensive, it wouldn't be on sale. So this one's the Founders one. I think it has fudge in it, um, chocolate. Mmm. Brownie. Let me kind of some kind of nut, Bobby pecan as well. You can see. And while I was showing you guys that, I was smelling the pretzel from on Annie's. Mm. This stuff is good too. But, I have to admit, for me a banana caramel tops it. It's just a perfect personal f f a preference. Mm. The ice cream, that's good ice cream. Mm. Not enough, I want more ice cream. As long as I forgot to change the battery, so hopefully I don't have to do it in, in between. But let's get it. Let's eat the waffle as well. I know some people don't like the waffle. I always love the waffle, even as a kid. So sorry for not talking so much, but that stuff is just amazing. Ah. Amazing stuff. Ah. Now I wanted to get again more ice cream, so let's go with the other one. This one is Auntie Anne's or Annie's, whatever. For the first time, I saw some I wanted to get them, never had them. The Parmesan, no, the Parmesan, the cheese. Uh, pepperoni, or this is pepperoni, but it was baked with cheese pretzel, and I got it in the regular nuggets whatever size it is the only thing away but i always want to try them and of course i've got the classic ones to get my pretzel fixing i don't know what's going on with that for the last weeks but i just want it so the coupon for it <laughs> but i will get one it's always helping me right now to get that at least that fix out of the way i like them but i expect something different but taste wise it's like no cheese bread and all that stuff. It's it's exactly like that. Just with a little bit of pepperoni on it. I do not get the pretzel taste out of it. That's that's what I just looking for desire. So it's overpowering, but it's good. But not not really what I'm craving right now. If that makes sense. But flavor wise, it's good. Do it again. Three or eight, or three or nine. One minute. Great, great, great. Of course, the uh, Aunt, Auntie Annie's was a little bit on the trier side. <laughs> if I drank a lot, well, as you guys know, like I would have to have more liquid stuff. Otherwise, stuff gets stuck in my throat. So I could never be competitive either because of that. They can, they don't use a lot of liquids. For me, it's but fun. But ice cream, ice cream, that was great. Great natural. National ho not holiday, National Day, Ice Cream Day. Good choice, good choice, good choice. I have no idea what I'm gonna be back with. Might be just candy. I don't, I don't know if I feel like going out, but ice cream, yes. Let's see the damage.
<laughs> last meal of the day and a mistake meal I will explain why it is 7.44 and as you probably saw a second ago the calories, the calories, the calories or you had I don't kind of eat that much because what I feel like is popcorn or cheese caramel the only mistake with that one is I bought it at Costco and it's a two pound bag so impossible for me and, it, and I even put some chocolate bars in here have to drink some milk but that's what I really feel like I messed up on a coupon sale as well like well, yesterday was only a coupon for most I want to try the new barbecue burritos but expired yesterday so I couldn't do that and I didn't feel like anything else right now I don't feel like pizza or anything like that so that's gonna be doing it hopefully gonna give me like just for trying insane two pounds of popcorn this late in the game where after the hunger shaking it shaking it because to mix it up I'm gonna have some caramel in there would be funny if I would have spilled everything. So I can do the milk again, strawberry milk, finish this thing up. Now have the milk gone because as you guys know I'm gonna fast. Did I show the time? See so yeah, I'm already getting made. Uh, oh 7.45 in case I didn't. I show it twice. You cannot never get you enough time. Make it nice. I don't have a lot of caramel, so let's see if I can eat the whole bag. I highly doubt that. But I, I don't know. That's what I feel like. So sometimes you have to do that, and then I'm gonna wait out afterwards. Whatever I don't eat, oh, more caramel. Let's get them at least out. So. Checkpot, got a lot of caramel stuff. I need to restart the camera, guys. Okay. Uh, I highly doubt I'm gonna be making that bag, but I mean, it more than expected, so. Now I'm done with popcorn. If I put it out, I'll show you guys how much I ate roughly. How much is left? I'm gonna have to reweigh anyway, so I'm gonna weigh it. Put it in a bowl. Hmm? Ah! Oh, I ate most of it, huh? Nice! I don't know if you guys can see the put a bit of the back. Well, that's left of the back. No idea how much it is. Put it on the bottom how much I ate. I don't know about it. Finish off, let's have, just have a chocolate bar. Let's get a different favorite for the night. Ah, not a smart idea, <laughs> but I just felt like it. Baby Ruth, I finally found, found all this in a six pack. Don't need to do over there so I can peg it. Peg it. I can't even talk anymore. Hmm. The funny, uh, funny part, part is uh, right before I stop. Maybe a couple minutes before I actually really thought I'm gonna make it. <laughs> for the whole popcorn bag, but uh -uh. too much. I have another one and a second one and then I'm done. So I'm done finally. 
Let me see the time. Eight twenty-two. Ah, oh, I'm full. Although I probably could eat the, the last four of the bars as well. Just one of my problems is like flavor physique. Uh, physique. As my channel name, no fatigue. Like too much. Like I was so excited to when I started out, and then I like too boring, too boring, too boring. I'm supposed to have fun, nothing else. So, you can follow me on my social media, you would have seen this embarrassing picture that where, where I knew I'm not gonna be finishing that stuff up. Other than that, great cheat day with fun, somewhat fun, but ah, I got it down to distract me right now. So, I'm gonna have the damage for you in a second. After that, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, my physique. If I'm kind of going to be able <clears throat> to lose that weight or not, you will see. In case you're interested, stay tuned for that. I am out for now. Show the damage and the physique stuff, and then I'm gonna clean up the mess. Yes, it is time to say goodbye, but before we do that, let's look at my physique and my weight. So right when I started up my cheat day, I came in at 186.1. As you guys can see, my diet is working. The night, I came in at 199.6, a little surprising, only like 13 and a half pounds up. I thought it would be more based on all the food, but didn't. So uh, day one afterwards, I came at 193.7, so six pounds lost overnight. As always guys, I have to repeat myself, I fasted the whole day. So day two afterwards, again, I fasted, I came at 187.7, so I lost six pounds overnight again. Day three afterwards, I came in at 183.7, my last day of fasting, so I didn't eat anything as well for three days. And then day four afterwards, I surprised myself. I came in at 180.0, amazing weight. So everything works out perfectly. The same as with the cheat day. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. I have no idea what, uh, lately like what's going on. I get lucky finding all the good stuff, buying all the good stuff. The Walmart bakery surprised me. Like I, was, I thought it was decent. It was actually better than decent. They had a lot of filling. Normally my experience is with Walmart bakery, that's the, they're lacking on the filling, but this time amazing. And ice cream and chilies. The dessert was amazing. I'm actually thinking about the cheat day that was yesterday. I might, or, or, or day before, like, because I always do 24 hours. I might be getting the dessert again because I got a coupon. You know guys, coupons, coupons, that's the way you do it. Uh, I don't know, I will see, like I have a couple of options, There's a lot of stuff I want to, want to eat. I have no idea what's going on, but that's what I want. So please, if you like this video and you actually watched it all the way to the end, you can like it, subscribe, leave a comment. If you, if you are able to do that, that would be greatly appreciated. You can also follow my social media and yes, uh, I don't know. The next cheat day is gonna be a sneak preview right now, but I made a little bit of a sugar challenge based on the Reese's uh, Krispy Kreme donuts as well because it just came out. So that's gonna be next cheat day. You guys gonna see if how, my, how much sugar I eat or not. So let's see the preview in a second and I say goodbye and thanks for watching. And as you can see, I got the new Reese's Krispy Kreme donuts. So there was a little change in my plan. Originally I just wanted to do like a sugar candy thing, 